in the Shifa hospital compound we're underneath the ground we are approximately between the Qatarian building is above us and this is the way to the street meaning this is a way that goes out outside from the hospital we are talking about a tunnel which is more than this only this specific area is more than 300 meters of a tunnel so this area goes directly outside of the hospital approximately to one of the areas outside maybe a mosque maybe an apartment it's blocked it's blocked and sealed they knew that we were going to come here more than a month ago and they sealed it and now we're going to see the infrastructure of the tunnel this tunnel is a, is a complex tunnel it's not a it's not the ones that we know it's more convenient for a long living like you have toilets and you have rooms rooms that were built in order to contain people but this room is an operational room that had communication with electricity provided from the sources of the hospital meaning the hospital is providing electricity this room was evacuated all the gear was evacuated I guess it was evacuated when they, when they knew or understand that we're going to enter into Shifa Hospital. You can see how long it is. The warriors in front of us are going inside the tunnel. You can see a small kitchen. So it will provide them food, water, etc. All these facilities of water and food are coming from the hospital, meaning they're using the hospital infrastructures. They're using the hospital infrastructures in order to provide this terror mechanism to stay alive and survive. I want to show you more rooms. More rooms. This is a room. Yeah where you can sleep, eat, make command control. It also has an air conditioning. This air conditioning goes above the hospital. One of the reasons that allows us to understand this complex is that we found the engine or the air conditioning, of course, outside, next to the Qatari uh, compound, inside the hospital, electricity, full electricity. The gear that was inside here was evacuated before we entered but look at the ceiling this is not just a, it's not just a regular tunnel this is a high facility compound also more toilets here Of course, they tried to seal it. They tried to seal it also with with sand and other components that we will not be able to enter here. We evacuated the sand. We opened up those uh, entrance so we can go in. But they tried to ruin uh, this tunnel in order for us not to not to be able to enter. You can see the stairs here going down. Electricity from all over the sides are electricity. All this electricity compound, of course, all this electricity gear, of course, comes out from the hospital. The hospital provides, in that sense, electricity to this terror mechanism of the tunnel. This is a unique signature of the arches. The arches are a unique technique by Hamas, building the tunnels. It's something that was uh, uh, designed in the last uh, 
15 years this unique Mac every every area that we see arches are uh, we understand that it assembled that it has a tunnel next to it this is how we revealed some of the tunnels so it's a unique structure of Hamas tunnels in the last 15 years The warriors it took time to make sure that this area is not booby trapped. We were ready that uh, we were worried that it was booby trapped. Uh, cleaning this area, opening it so we can go inside, was a huge task for the forces of the special units that were here. Where the warrior is standing here, it goes directly to the street, meaning it again goes out from the hospital to the north side of the hospital, where we found another tunnel, another tunnel which has a which has an elevator, like the Rantisi tunnel, and it goes up and goes out. So it's all a tunnel systems that ends in the hospital. It's a mechanism of a tunnel system that ends in the hospital. Now we're going to turn left and go out again in the hospital just to see the size of the tunnel. This is this is the blast. This is the this is the blast door, the one that we opened where we have seen, it, have seen in the movie that we reached to the blast door. We took us time to open it. We were making sure it's not booby trapped. This blast doors allows them to uh, prevent uh, blasts by our uh, air force, meaning it can s maintain the preservation of parts of the tunnel to be protected. And also it's, uh, it's part of uh, fighting. So if an enemy reached to the door, you can fight him through the door. So it's, it's a really sophisticated mechanism in that sense, designed to fight. And all this mechanism above us is a hospital. Above us, patient, wounded, doctors, all being a human shield for this tunnel system here at Chifa Hospital. The electricity you see is the electricity that provides the communication, the command and control, meaning from those tunnels you can command and control all the terror mechanism waging war outside in, in Gaza. This is why all the battalions commander, all the uh, senior commander terrorists came here to command the operation, went outside, went back to the hospital to do command and control. This is the way out with the stairs. Uh, this way out, and we, uh, when we entered with the bulldozer, all the sand fell down. So it's not now. Now it's not available to go out. But we will show you because you remember the movie that we showed with the drone. It ends here. Outside the compound of Shifa Hospital, 
We just walk 50 meters from the hospital. And this is the entrance from outside the street. I want you to look closely. It's the same mechanism of staircase going down. And this is, this is the roof that enters into the Shifa hospital. When people ask us, why do we need to ruin the buildings next to the area? Why do we work the way we work? It's because Hamas has built a terror infrastructure underneath, on the ground, underneath the buildings. He uses, he uses the way to be close to the hospital, but this kind of, this kind of tunnels keep on going to different kinds of bases, meaning commanders of Hamas go to the hospital, give directions to the forces, go out by these tunnels, and they go out, proceed their terror acts against our soldiers, firing rockets on our, on our civilians, go back and directly to the hospital as a human shield. We're now outside a street which is parallel to the Shifa hospital. And it goes, the tunnel system that we saw underneath the Shifa hospital gets until this house. I want to show you it. We're entering the house. We're entering the house now. We're entering the house. In this house, it's a it's a it's a regular apartment. It's a regular apartment. In this apartment, you have gear and equipment. We're entering the room, we're entering the room, okay? You can see the board, it's like a, it's like a classroom inside a house. You have the warriors here, our warriors here are working on the, on the tunnel shop. And then you can see the tunnel shop. It was covered with the floor. We had to remove the floor and understand this tunnel shop. Now we're going down inside the tunnel shop. Just imagine how people are building tunnels underneath a home in a room that has a classroom. And here you can see we're entering into the tunnel. And the tunnel goes, goes, goes and goes. And then you can see the structure that we already seen of the staircase. A spiral staircase going down into the tunnel that we saw outside the Shifa hospital. And this direction also did, brings us to areas which is different from the Shifa hospital, meaning one direction goes to the Shifa hospital, other directions go to different places, different location where the terrorists can move using the safe haven, the human shield of the hospital, the human shield of those regular houses providing them shelter held by civilians and and they choose it in the most barbaric and cynic way in a room in a room they use it in a room that should have provided teaching for children this is their choice this is what we're fighting for See, those are classes. It's room that has a class. These are classes. People are being educated here, and the tunnel goes outside from a house who meant to give teaching for children. So they deliberately build the tunnels in the places they know 
they know it will be the most covered and I'm sorry to say cynical way, unhuman. Using children being learning inside a house.